Teaching English to only one student may be daunting. Instead of having a group to do activities and practice with one another, it's only you and the students in class. In today's video, I will share 30 one-on-one -on -one teaching activities. These are great when it's only you and your students, but many of these can be adapted to group classes as well. One-to-one -one teaching can happen in person or more and more widely online. So I want to share Preply for any teacher that wants to make money teaching a language online. Preply allows you to set your own price, create your own schedule and make money from anywhere in the world. To help you succeed, Preply offers resources to all its tutors, which include a steady stream of new students, a smart calendar to easily keep track of your schedule, curriculum and lesson plans, use your own or Preply's, convenient payment methods to receive your money, Preply Tutor Academy, which gives you access to more than 40 courses to help you prepare for your lessons and become a better tutor. So how do you start? Click on the link down below and complete your registration. Add your details, record an engaging intro video. Once you've been accepted, set your own price and teach from anywhere in the world. Get connected with students or add your own. Conduct lessons and start making money online. Back to teaching one-on-one. -on -one. Questions on a topic. Visit the Etateach website to get 20 questions on 50 different topics. 10 for your students and 10 for you. Take turns asking each other these questions. I put the link in the description below. Shiritori. You and your student take turns saying words. But the catch is that every following word should start with the last letter of the previous word. Bus, stake, key, yellow. Continue around and around until someone makes a mistake. Compound words. Choose three to five compound words with the same stem and write them on the board or screen without their stem. Ask your student to figure out what the stem is. Paste, ache, brush. The stem would be tooth or ball, man, board. The stem, snow. Here are some more that you can use. Two minute presentation. Write down random topics on paper strips or use a randomizing wheel. After picking a topic, the student has one minute to prepare and two minutes to do a speech on the topic. Remind them not to write a whole script but rather focus on the structure and vocabulary they want to use. This is great practice for public speaking in the future. Younger learners have a show and tell session. Ask them to bring his or her favorite toy, book or stuffed animal and they have to tell you about it. Make sure to teach them soft skills like body language and vocal tips to improve their presenting ability. Mixed up questions. It's always good to start the class with a question. Write a good one on the board, but mix up the word order. Then challenge students to reconstruct the question and then discuss it in pairs or small groups. Most item you have the ever expensive what's bought. Alternatively, write a question on the board, but this time scramble the letters of each word. To shi ryo. See Lil Romi, A to Z game. Give students a theme. Jobs, things you take on holiday, food. Write the letters A to Z on the board. The student must race to write an appropriate word next to each letter of the alphabet. Name 10. Have students think of 10 items that fit particular criteria. Jobs where you have to wear a uniform, sports that are played with a ball, foods that contain egg, animals that lay eggs, I am better. Start off by explaining the concept of one-upmanship, that some people always like to appear to be more interesting or superior to others in their company. Tell the student a relatively mundane story about something that happened recently and invite the student to tell a similar story but to top it in some way. Yesterday, I overslept and was five minutes late to class. The student can say, that's nothing. I overslept and was an hour late. An hour? I overslept a whole day. This is a really fun exercise to get their creativity flowing a day in my life. You and your student create a fictitious schedule of each other's lives. It doesn't need to be realistic. From eight to 12, swimming with sharks. One to five, training with the Real Madrid football club. Six, robbing a museum. Once you are done, the other person has to ask questions until they figure out what they are doing at that time. Am I in a dangerous place? 
Am I underwater? Shopping game. Both a teacher and student take some time to create their own snack shop. Make a list of items to sell and price them realistically. Each person gets $20 to visit the other shop to buy whatever they want. For more advanced students, shoppers have the option of negotiating the price. Secret S. The object of this activity is to answer questions without using the letter S. You and your student come up with five questions each that you can ask one another. Take turns to ask and answer the question. Whoever says an S first in their answer loses. Photographs. Take turns to share a personal photograph and explain what's going on. You can also ask follow-up questions to each other. An alternative activity is to find photographs online. Your student has to describe the photograph and you can discuss whether the picture is good or bad. You can even give a personal rating. This is great for practicing prepositions of where things are on a photograph. Dice conversation starters. Make a six-sided die that the students can use. Write a topic on each side. You can also use a randomizing wheel to pick topics that you can download from the Twinkle website. I put it down below. The topics can include things like hobbies, television, time, sleep, music, interview with verbs. You and your student both pick a different celebrity. Then write down 10 verbs. Take turns to interview one another but you must include these verbs in the questions. Decide. When did you decide? Hate. What do you hate? Love. Who loves you the most? Debate. Write down 10 different debatable topics on slips of paper or use the randomizing wheel. Take turns to pick a topic, choose a side of the argument to support and share its merits. The other person now has to give their own counter arguments to defend the other side. Depending on your student's level, personality, and cultural background, you can discuss anything from plastic surgery to drug addiction. Negotiation. In our daily lives, we often have to negotiate with other people. Explain how it is done with your student. Ask them for some examples where they have had to negotiate in their lives. Now practice these scenarios with your student. Parents and children, homework, dinner, bedtime, pocket money, household chores, staying at a friend's house, birthday presents. Sentence chains. Start telling a story with your student. Take turns to add a sentence to the story and see where it takes you. It's a good way to practice conditional clauses. Fortunately, unfortunately. A super simple game. No resources required and a minimum of just two players. One person says a sentence beginning with fortunately and the next person has to begin the next sentence with unfortunately. Fortunately, it was Saturday and Mr. Dinosaur could sleep until 10 a.m. Unfortunately, his neighbors woke him up. They were having a water fight. Fortunately, they invited Mr. Dinosaur to play with them. See how long you can keep it up. Word ladder. In this activity, a word must be transformed step by step into a target word. To illustrate this idea, Write the word run on the board and explain that the target word is fit. For each turn, only one letter can be changed. See if your student can find a valid sequence together. Run, fun, fin, fit. Most words. Pick a long word like apologize, dictionary, or September. Take a minute to create as many words from that word using its letters. Do it with your student and see who can find the most words. Longest word. Write a topical word on the board or screen. For example, winter. Your student has to think of a new long word for each of its letters. Waterfall. Industrious. Nausea. Terrified. Empty. Retailer. Compete with your student, give a point to whoever has a longer word per letter. Agony Ant. Find some common problems people write to an Agony Ant section of a magazine. You can find examples for young learners, teenagers, or specific to your student's career. Ask what advice your student would give to that person. Share a similar problem they might have faced and discuss alternative solutions. What's the missing word? Find a group of compound words or collocations which share a common word. Bedroom, bathroom, living room, classroom, showroom. Give the students one of the words or collocation parts such as bed and have them guess the missing part. Add to the list by writing bath, living, class until they successfully guess the word. Scatter sheets are a great way to review vocabulary 
introduce a theme and get your student talking. Brainstorm words connected to a theme, the seaside, London, marketing, and so on. Write all these words on a sheet or on the board. Once you have 20 words, take turns to pick a word and describe it. Once correctly guessed by the other person, circle it and it's the other person's turn to explain one of the random words teacher robot pretend you're a robot and can be controlled by the voice commands of your student ask them to direct you to do simple tasks such as making a sandwich cooking an egg try and use relia to make it more fun it's great for practicing imperative forms such as use move do or time word connectors such as before after when spot the difference for younger learners spot the difference is a fun five minute game find examples on the internet ask students to describe what they see then find the differences make it into a speaking activity by encouraging your students to answer in full sentences using prepositions where relevant role play games great for keeping a younger student entertained and learning english a role play game is a fantastic way to practice those all important functional language skills the phrases we use for our day-to-day -day interactions ordering food going to the doctor traveling problems guess the news story collect photos from news stories across the world let your student guess what it is about and what their headline would be then you can discuss the actual article and what they think about it post it mania bring a pack of post-it notes to the lesson or if they are online ask a younger student to use some if they have give them a word to write down then go and place it on the said word do this until you have labeled many things in their area think of someone you and your student both make a list of 10 people you both know it could be dad mom celebrities switch papers now pick a person from their list they have to ask questions to figure out who you picked once they get it right it's their turn to pick from your list and you to question them. If you want some more tips on how to teach one-on-one, -on -one, check out this next video.